I'm a suicide king, never bang regret From the bottom of the barrel like the game is fit As long as I'm alive, too legit to quit The hustle is the turn, trying to flip the script Don't let the struggle burn, you gotta flick the switch Third pound on the moon, go lick the lick Never judge a book by its cover Will the story never told word of mother The blood been bonded by the mother Never judge a book by its cover Salute, 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 salute. Welcome to Banging Aces, live and direct sport commentary, live with your host, Bang. And we are back. Today's show predicated on a topic I've been really, really, really wanting to have and I'm kind of behind the ball on but you know uh it's summer league and they won their first summer league game and I gotta talk about my team the New York Knicks who last year <clears throat> I was excited with their draft picks and I went a little off the handle and ahead of schedule and i jumped off the bandwagon salute salute z2 motorsport welcome yeah and i jumped off the bandwagon and i had them going to the four three seed or something like that right but then randall had a a revert vert out yeah and um those rookies had a, a learning curve and a, and a bigger curve than i expected right RJ didn't take the the leap that I expected him to take, though he did take a leap. He didn't take the, the superstar leap, which is pretty obvious by the non-extension offer as of yet. Uh, this is the NBA time. Nick Knack, Patty Wax, Summer League Assessment, Nick's Offseason Assessment. Nick fans divided on the mellow return. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know what the hesitation is. It's not like you're getting a superstar contract, but we'll get to that. I, your host, Bang. This is Bang and Aces Live and Direct. Summer League standout thus far. We will be discussing Nick's first summer game assessments preview to the game two today at 5 o'clock. This year's expectation for the Knicks overall. Uh-oh, Jericho Sims, I see you playing above the rim. Uh-oh, Quentin Grimes slimes the game, looking strong and confident, looking very assertive. Farron Hunt, ah, somebody wants to go for a journey this year. On a two-way contract, somebody's trying to go for the journey. I don't know. Seven steals 
and the way he runs the floor, the way he locked up. Uh, the way he locked up, uh, what is his name, Kaminga, was pretty convincing. Got Coach Tibbs on the sideline saliv salivating over there, like, defense, yeah. Miles McBride looking like a point guard out there. But will he be in the number two behind Jalen Brunson? That's the question, and that is the denial. I hear a lot of hesitation out there, a lot of hesitation since last year on Miles McBride. Then we got uh, Jeffries. Jeffries clearing his throat in game one. Like, uh -uh. very attentive game as well. I believe he had 17 points. Gene Montero, another point guard. Put some pressure on the point guard talks. Trevor kills. The draft pick that we did pick up this year. This kid is young. He looks fit. He looks to fit in somewhere. And he's an 18 year old. Probably entered the league one year early. However, with his current core players. Look for him to push and help his his development. Rapid transition pro into the pro game. He's on a fast track to the G League this year. However, I look for him to assert himself in this second game. He looked a little like a fish out of water in game one. Uh, Nick's young call looks defensively sound. Can he persist? Are the kids ready? Let's go. Let's grow. Knicks, Knicks, Knicks. NBA hashtag Bengals of Sports and Chat. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe. And yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's on like TV. Bang. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, man, I was a, a heck of an intro, man. That was a heck of an intro, man. I just wanted to make sure I gave the proper attention to these young guys who looked very good in that first game. And I don't know, man. Maybe we can uh, take a have a, a summertime to talk about. You know what I mean? Uh, Quentin Grimes slime time looked very Looked very rusty in the first half, eight for 21. However, stayed aggressive and competitive, four, six from the foul line overall. Kept shooting, kept driving, left, right, and ones. Looked dominant, looked dominant, looked dominant. In the second half, driving, laying on both sides in the second half. Um... Finishes and confidence uh, that I only really see from the superstars in the league. So if he could transition that against the top guys in the league, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all keep thinking about him coming off the as a role player. <laughs> I think Quinn Ground's got another thing in mind over there. I think Quentin Grimes got another thing in mind over there, but, you know, let's stay. Let's stay. Let's see if he can have consistent play with today's play. And show, show he can dominate. Best in the same fashion we we can uh, be looking at the U call that were considered sleepers in the drive of stars. Sims looks good. He's locked up. He's a center. Hartenstein, center. Um, our other guy, locked up. So we locked up with our big man. We might need a power forward, but we'll see what happens going on with Randall. And, um, yeah, I think we, we got that secured. 
You know what I mean? We got that secured out back and secured. Uh, this summer league roster. Javon Blair, Garrison Brooks, Vince Edwards, Quentin Grimes, Ferran Hunt, Daquan Jeffries, Trevor Keels, Miles McBride, Gene Montero, Micah Potter, Quentin Rose, Deshaun Schwartz, Amir Sims, good old Amir Sims, Jericho Sims, and MJ Walker. Yeah, good old man Sims, man. I remember him from last year. It looked like he's the odd man out so far. And there's some guys here that are playing a la Farrah Hunt, a la Daquan Jeffries, um, Gene Montero, Michael Potter got involved last game. I did not see anything from the from the young boy Trevor Kills. I didn't see these guys, Amir Sims in them, in the in the first game. But we look to see what happens today. We look to see what happens today. Um, let's go. Let's go. So yeah. A lot going on on the Knicks sideline. They got the hardest call in the game, I think. Um, but they have to prove themselves. Trevor Kills, one of eight in 25 minutes. That was eye opener for his first game. Didn't play well, a little overwhelmed by hungry older, bigger players. Obi Toppin not playing this year in the summer league. But I believe I seen him in in support on the sidelines over there with uh, Coach Tibbs, and they led me to the question: This does Obi deserve more minutes, twenty or more minutes this season? Will he get it? Um, with Randall there, I don't know that he will. Um. I'm not saying Obi is better than Randall. I'm not saying Randall's better than Obi. But I know that Randall is starting. As long as Randall's dead, I don't know that Obi can get 20 minutes. And I don't know how much he could do with 13. So that just leads me to the next question. We looking for Coach Tips to expand the roster. The depth from 8 and 9 to 11 and 12. And uh, have a different minute share or distribution this year. You got a bunch of young guns over there, man. You got to let them ball out. Fall in where they fit and let them go. They got to figure it out. Farron Hunt. I don't know that we will sign him to a two-way, but we need to think about it. Especially if we think about moving Randall. Um, he locked up Kaminga. Oh, my God, did he knock up Kaminga. Now, this was impressive. Kaminga looked frustrated. The champion, Kaminga, looked frustrated. And not a player to fear in the summer league, which was telling. Fair Hunt had 11, seven steals and multiple leak outs and fast break, which was eye-popping to me. That was eye-popping to me. Keep up the good work. I look to see him, look, watch him today. Again, the Knicks play at 5 o'clock. So this, this live will be short. We're just getting get to the topics at hand, and we are out of here. Now. Uh-oh, Jericho Sims. I like this guy. I like that pick. He's our last pick in last year's drive. He's a sophomore player. <coughs> He's a strong player. He's a four-year player in college. He's very developed already. I think we undermine him 
I do believe he needed to adjust to the speed of the NBA game, but we should have played him more last year. Uh, he plays above the rim. He's strong. Can't throw him around. Uh, if he could lock down that defense, he could do all the rest. He don't really have a jump shot. He's not a three-point shooter, but you know how I feel about big men. They don't really have to be three-point shooters. They don't really have to be three-point shooters to me. I don't need a cat. I don't need an MB. I need somebody down in the box that could punish. That could punish. But flying high above the rim, action working, a flow of chemistry between Grimes, McBride, and Jericho Sims, all last year's rookies, now sophomore career players. They all played well in the first game. Push the pace of the Warriors. Although Moses Moody was cooking. Moses Moody was cooking. And it seemed like we had no answer for him. We kept the pressure on Moses Moody by keeping the lead and continue to score at will. The Knicks all game, the Knicks pace and defense was and defense was key everywhere else. Oh man, I, I, the Knicks played good defense overall everywhere else. You know, um, McBride, um, Montero. Uh, now, everybody seems to be in an uproar over the rumor that we're getting in position to sign Melo after dropping Taj Gibson, who has now went to the Wizards. Salute to, <coughs> salute to Taj. Salute to, salute to Taj. <coughs> I wish him well, but Melo want to come back to NY, finish his career. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. The problem is they don't want him to affect the youthful core. Listen, man, we lost a lot of games last year. We struggled to hit three-point shooting. We struggled. We needed a Melo last year. Or oh, Cam Reddish to play. Yeah. But we needed that. Um, I really don't know what the big beef is with Melo. Um, I don't believe he's that boy dominant. He's been on a couple of teams already. Um, he's played, His role has changed. He's learned to play with other guys who had, he, I believe he's, we should give him a shot at trying to lead these young guys. Showing them how to take that New York media pressure, how to play with it, how to control it. Showing them how to dip and dabs in the city the right way as a player. You know what I mean? Um, don't want to put too much responsibility on Melo, but at the end of the day, he does have a role as a leader. Um, here, and I don't see what the big problem is, giving him the vet minimum to play and to hit some shots for us when we need it. Some veteranism shots. We, this this course way too young. They need the vets. They need a few vets, not because Melo need team for when when they when they want to go deaf to to Melo the leader. The older leader, or oh, you old man, like he don't have backup, so he need a backup. You understand what I'm saying? So somebody who respect it, but that brings me to Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish, man, two player, six nine, two sixty. Like this dude <laughs> is special. He's special. His game is special, but I again, like I was saying about Seth Curry, he's going to need a coach and a team to gear a system around him 
and his talents to bring the players that compliment him. Um, and I don't know that he'll get that based off of his um his demeanor. You know what I mean? Um, he has a at least from the outside looking in, he has a very hardcore rebellious demeanor. Now that's unfair because I don't know him, and I am a fan of him from Duke. I'm sure he bring pressure on uh, Trey Young over there, and Atlanta had to get rid of that pressure because they're both shooters. Um, that could have been special if it would have worked. But is he even a Nick? I, let's be honest, guys. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the chat. Is, is Cam Reddish a Nick? Do y'all see him being a Nick? Be getting some minutes. Who who does he sit down? Because he most definitely should be starting. He most definitely should be starting. Cam Reddish not playing in the summer league. Fourth year in the league. Okay. So he might be a little egotistical because of my fourth year. I'm a pro now. Although he's not playing, he is present. With Coach Tibbs, Obi, and others. In support of the kid movement. Now, no. Cam Reddish didn't look happy sitting on the side over there with Tibbs. And I don't know what that was about. Maybe the camera just caught him in that shot, that move, that move. But he did not look happy and not, you know, almost like he didn't like what he was hearing or or over there in that huddle, at times looking very displeased. One can only imagine and wonder what that was the result of. Maybe them telling him they're not going to commit to him. Maybe them telling him he's coming off the bench. Maybe them telling him he's not going to be here. We're looking for a trade. However, the Knicks win 101-88. On the back of Quentin Grimes, who was very impressive. I got to say that. 24 points, 4 rebounds, 8 assists. More than... He's more than a three-pointer, three-point shooter that the team has presented thus far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've seen him doing the aggressive things that I, I don't see RJ doing. This is a sophomore year. RJ and year going in year four. Looking for his extension. Which brings me to RJ. And the Knicks front office did some things this offseason. I didn't care for the draft, but I see the, the strategy. And it looks like we're working out. We got some assets. Including Cam Reddish. Right? But what are y'all doing with RJ? Why are y'all trying to piss RJ off so he could decide? The whole Zion thing must have been a bluff. You know what I mean? He got his extension. He ready to ride. Y'all piss RJ off. He, gonna, he ain't going to sign no extension with us. He go join his boy. He go join his boy. That his boy coming to join him. Like, we really got to think about what we're doing unless we're going to thinking about packaging them, you know, um, which could be the case. We're thinking about packaging them, <clears throat> RJ and say like Randall with a first round pick or with one of the draft picks we got. Man, that would put K Reddish right in the RJ spot. And um, then we're looking for to an extension to Cam Reddish. That would be the commitment. But I think that would be this little premature to say those things. But I said it just in case. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a what-if moment. 
Um, should the Knicks, should should the Knicks pass on Melo back in New York? My answer to that is no. No, not at all. Can Melo help or hurt RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish? I think he can only help them. They got to get past the egos, and especially in New York, because the media will slay that ego when you're not winning. So I think Melo, who's been there on both sides of it, can help those young young guys. Um, how many minutes should Melo get in Tibbs' short roster? Is he even in, involved in the roster? Or is he just situational? I don't know. Is Cam Reddish an, even a Nick? I don't know, man. I can't tell. I can't tell. Nick fans talk about him like he's a Nick, but I can't tell, man. Not from last year's play, not from the strategy set up. I would love to keep Cam Reddish and have him bloom here in New York with his dookie. But I don't know that they both can exist on the same team. Why haven't they extended RJ Barrett by now? I don't know. They playing. They playing the odds. Leon got them doped up. Got the game going on them. Uh, you know, buying into the future. Good job, Leon. But RJ, you'll wake up soon. Can be- Randall be better with Jay Brunson addition? I think Randall could be better. I've seen him be better. Playing in L.A., I seen him be better playing in New York. I think Randall could be better. Randall's problem is his self. It's his mental st- instability. How he takes criticism. You know, and that was evident last year. And I think to expect the New York fans and media to lay off him because of that is insane. You know what ain't going to happen. So his, as these guys get better, RJ, Cam, and they start scoring at more, and, and, and Brunson is get, getting his game in, and he trying to include you and you still bummage, man, man. He only going to get worse, in my opinion. That's why I said he let his true colors be seen. He really don't want to be here. New York is a little bit too much. He need a smaller market team. Sorry, uh, Mr. Rand, Randall over there. But, uh, yeah, he need a small market team. He need to go play with Giannis or something. You know what I mean? And that's not a, that's not a bad knock on him. But, I, but Giannis is a tough dude. He going to hold him accountable. I know that. And it might be too much there for him. And that's a smaller market. So if you can't make it in L.A., you couldn't make it in New York, where where else can you go? There's there's definitely a place in the NBA for you. Just where? Just out of here, out of New York. I think you're going to be the poison on the team. I think he needs to realize that he was the poison on last year's team. You understand when these guys were trying to do things by him not his head not being in the game, they took some L's. They they could have they could have won some games. I do expect Jalen Brunson to unlock a whole other side of the Knicks that we haven't saw yet. Because control point gosh is control confidence. I don't expect him to be the savior, but I do expect him to unlock the pick and rolls better. I do expect him to unlock Randall, feed Randall in the post where he want to be fed for his little fadeaway and all of that. 
you know, um, I do respect him to be better with that. And then after playing with Luca, helping them, you know, Herbert, I think I, I expect him to unlock RJ Barrett even more. You know, um, and with his steady play, I expect the point guards under him to get way, way better. We haven't we haven't even bring up Emmanuel quickly, who I think is a slept on player for the Knicks because he struggled being a point guard. And he is not a point guard. So the fact that he was trying to be a point guard and doing the best he could was, is impressive. He took the slander from New York media. He took the slander from the fan base. He took it. He re returned, then took it again, and he's back. He don't have to run the point no more. I think that's a big open, maybe a six-man spot on the season. Um, for him, that opened up his game and gave him a little more freedom to play his game. He's a shooter, naturally. Um, so we got a team full of shooters over here, some ballers, some young ballers. So as they confidence, they should know that they can play against anybody in this league. And um, I expect them to be different this year. I expect what I expected last year to really come into fruition this year, but we got to earn it. I do expect to be a playoff team but like more like a six or a seven seed i do if we're playing i'm okay with it but i i, I don't see us that wouldn't be considered evolving even though we weren't last year's playing it wouldn't be considered evolving to me if we're playing so that's where i'm at with that now leon rose I got to say this, chat. I got to say this, chat. Leon Rose. Leon Rose, I, I, I went in on him after the draft. Um, went on, in on him after the draft. He, uh, Leon Rose, I went in after the draft because I was really pissed off that he didn't take advantage of that 11th pick. After after these years that we had, we, we went backwards last year to get the players we were targeting. So I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Um, we went because we were still in position to get the players we already were targeting to have on this team. Um... Hold on, I'm trying to get a. Yeah, so I went on on Leon Rose after the draft, and I really wasn't happy with how he handled everything with the draft. Um, and I was mad about – I've been mad about Coach Tibbs' season. And, um, you know, I held a, I held, I held a little flame to Leon Rose. And I, since then, I had to uh, really uh, – I had to really pay attention to uh, what overall what he's been doing. You know what I mean? Um, and when I start looking back at everything and I see the assets and, and I see all of that stuff, I'm like, okay, maybe I was tripping a little bit. 
You know what I mean? Maybe I maybe I was a little bit. Um, we've done some things. I couldn't believe people were upset about the the trade of Alec Burks. I just felt like that was just this is wrong. You know what I mean? Uh. Lost this picture already. Yeah, so I went in on them. I went in on them. On their own rules, uh, because I feel like they're kind of sabotaging the Knicks. Like they're not drawing any attention to the Knicks. Now, when I start looking at the roster, though, I love the picks he picked up last year: McBride and Grimes and Sims. Then in, in the mix, he got Cam Reddish. So now look, he got four premier guys right there. And then they tra- They made some trades. Kemba got rid of Alec Burke and, and, and New Orleans Noel, who New Orleans did play for us when he was healthy, but he was hurt last year. Kemba was hurt last year. Who else? Um, you know, man, Alec Burke played. He did his thing for us, but he wasn't that piece, and somebody has to leave. Somebody has to leave. And if y'all want to keep Grimes and McBride and all these guys, which I would rather keep Grimes and McBride over Alec Burke, and then Cam Reddish comes in, so, you know, um, Noel could go to the side because we got Hartenstein now. And... Now, in a knockout team... But it's up there. It's a youthful team. It's a future team. It's a, it can, they can build to become strong, and they could be a dominant team. They could be a dominant team. So I have to salute Leon Rose for the offseason moves that he's done. Um, the build is impressive to me right now in the position that we are with or without Randall. Um after so many draft and trade sacrifices, diamond and rough choices, can they flourish and catapult the Knicks front office and culture shift to accredited winners? Is it management genius or mismanagement risk? Low reward illusions. Looks like Zion to New York, just another distraction. Of course it was. Of course it was. Miles McBride growth thus far has been solid. Looks to elevate behind Brunson this year. With Montero's hunger on his heels, can Miles solidify your faith and support? He already has Miles since last year. Play the kids. Play the kids. Yeah. So that's what they got to do this year for me. Um, let's play the kids. The knick-knack patty whack is on. The game be on in the next 50 minutes. We going to get ready to move on on out of here. But, yeah, get make sure y'all drop. I wish I would uh, drop some comments. Um, and let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. Thank you for all any of your support. You'll greatly appreciate monetary donations and support is strictly voluntary. Greatly appreciate and used to grow the stream and channel. However, it's not warranted or necessary or required to be here. So salute to everybody, man. I got my got my I got the gist of what I wanted to say out. I wish there was people to bounce it off of right now. 
one day y'all start. Thanks for those six likes back there. Z2 Motorsports on Life TV. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. So let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. I answered all the questions. With that said, I'm probably going to get out of here, y'all. I'm probably going to get out of here. Oh, let me share screen. wanted to put up the, the game stats from the last game. Man, Moody had 34. Come 17. And he was freezing them out there last yesterday a little bit. Everybody else they stayed in stayed in perspective. Two of ten for Kaminga. 0-4 from three point land. Crazy. Two rebounds, three assists, two steals. Utah had ten rebounds. And uh, my boy is out. The next side. I got the next right here. Twenty-four for Grimes, sixteen for Sims. Plus 12, plus 17, plus 11. Uh huh. At 17, 7, two turnovers, two assists, three rebounds. He was balling, boy. Killed him plus 12, even only, even though he only had three points. He has plus 12. Four steals, kills, two assists, six rebounds. Okay. I didn't see him, but he did some did some numbers out there um, defensively, and that's what you want. That's what you look to see. Uh, let's see. Potter was six. Montero was four. He only played nine minutes. Hunt played twenty nine minutes, and Brad led with thirty one. Jeffries with twenty four six. One on one from three point land, had all his free throws, 12 points with a plus 25. Wow. So look for Jeffries today and look for Grimes. Look for Hunt and Kills. And we'll see where, where we go from there. Let's see where we go from there. This is Bang and H's live and our rest for commentary. I'm your host, Bang. And until we probably probably can do a post game. Um, I don't know. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Bang! Uh, never judge a book by its cover. Will the story never told word of mother? The blood been bonded by the mother. Never judge a book by its cover. Will the story never told word of mother? The blood been bonded by the mother. Uh-huh. Yeah. You already made the assumption The look on your face like you hate me or something yeah. I cannot wait for the day that I'm bumping yeah. People today really think I be bumping yeah. One thing that I value but money is loyalty yeah. Snakes in the grass, I don't cut it, they call it me Don't want me winning, they trying to get all of me uh. Deal with the pressure, ain't no annoying uh. me Remember the joke in the season? Yeah. They jealous, they couldn't believe it nope. Now I'm excelling, I'm here for a reason yep. Blood for my brothers, I pled the allegiance whoop, whoop. I do what I do for a reason Third pound gave me the teaching Whoop. Tell your baby daddy stop the bleeding stop. Cause the lies that he's telling ain't believe it. Get out of here. I play it by ear though Throw uh. the working bird but I'm the weirdo yeah. Russian bootleg you just better be careful yeah. Work ethic something real this what I'm here for I'ma just, I'ma just stick to the grind Tunnel vision take my time Gotta take my time Homage pay it so you know that I'm paying homage all the time yeah. 
never judge a book by its cover. You ain't take the time to discover. Will the story never told word of mother? The blood been bonded by the brothers. Never judge a book by its cover. You ain't take the time to discover. Will the story never told word of mother? The blood been bonded by the brothers. Yeah.